Afghanistan, I was going to school. They took us uh, from school in a place that uh, we didn't know where is it. After one month, they told us you can't go. I went to find out my house. It was uh, bombing. I didn't find nothing. There were some uh, family. They took me until uh, Pakistan. I earned a little money. But then I decided to go to Turkey by foot. We were uh, four uh, friends. We decided to go to the Greece. We bought a small plastic boat. We didn't know how to direct. We were uh, turning uh, in ourselves. We arrived at 9 o'clock in the morning. We had pain in our back and our leg. We were very tired. We couldn't walk. So we stand up, we were feeling down. We stand up, we were feeling down. At that time, the police came there. The police asked us, hey boys, uh, where do you sleep? So I told him, we don't have any place to sleep. They took us to the police station and they closed the door. So we lied down, we were slept. I'm hearing a voice that uh, says, get up, get up, get up. A man at the door, he says, do you have money for the ticket? We collect our money. He came with us to the ship and uh, he told us this ship goes to Athens. Go in and don't speak with no one. Luxenia. Luxenia. Oh, Luxenia. Yeah. You. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's a very big word. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Because if you feel it, you have it. Luxenia comes from Greece because we had the Greek god Zeus, it was called the Xenios Zeus. It's about Luxenia and helping uh, other people from other countries. This is a Greek word with a Greek root. It uh, comes from philo, which means love, and xenia, which means xenos, uh, as a, a foreigner. Philoxenia. What's that? Xenophobia or something. If we love ourselves and accept ourselves, then we can accept every other person who is different from us without having any conflict. Quite the opposite of racism, I would guess. To be open-minded and accept the others how they are and embrace them to your lifestyle, to your culture, to your uh, home. It's uh, well known uh, that there is no culture uh, or social bond without the principle of uh, hospitality, of uh, philoxenia. Uh, as we know in uh, ancient Greece, uh, hospitality, xenia, plays uh, a very central uh, role. The ancient Greeks, uh, when uh, someone stranger uh, was coming to their houses, they were obliged to uh, keep him uh, there and to give, me fo give, give him food and somewhere to sleep. And he, if we would like to, uh, would tell him his name or her name. Uh, this is not happening today because we're a little bit afraid of strangers. Eh, I can't. What would you do? <laughs> oh, leave it, leave it. <laughs> what to do? 
If I go to the bus, if I go to sit down in the chair, okay, no anyone come uh, uh, sit down behind me. What is my problem? No anybody help me and no anybody speak to me good and no anybody smile for me. Why? Because my clothes is dirty like this. Okay, this is not my pantalon, this is not my shirt, this is not my jacket, this is not all this gift. Here, you know, you know these people, he ask, you Muslim, Christian, for what you ask? Me, I believe, what I want, I believe God, I believe stone. Look, you Muslim, look, you, he make problem. For what I make problem? We have problems from people who, who, who come from Asia, except from uh, Chinese like people. Pakistans, Indians, some Africans, and uh, some of them, Albanians. Some of them. When they come Thank in our you. country, they attack, they kill, even for one cent. That's why they are calling us racists. Racists, racists. 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 We are not. But some people hate our history, our, our civilization, people. and our orthodoxy. I know how it, 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 how it feels to be a foreigner, because when I was growing up in Greece, there was no foreigners. I'm, when, I, when I was going to school in 85, 86, I was the only dark person in the whole neighborhood. So you can imagine what you, what you, what you go through. No, I can't. Can you tell me? Yeah, well, it causes psychological problems. It really causes when you're young and somebody, everybody, every, the whole school is pointing with the finger at you. How would you feel? My my example. I'm born here. They don't give me a citizenship. They said you, you're born here. You go, to, you do your education here. And they say you're not here. You're Pakistani for us. And then how should I feel? When my mom, my mom was the first Asian woman in Greece in '76. First, first. The first Pakistani woman that put her foot in Greece. How was that for her? Well, then, in the 70s, there was nothing here. There was nobody here. Things were a lot different. Everything was very, very different. Quiet, people didn't have money. But, but they used to live a life. I mean, they used to, people didn't have money, but they, they used to enjoy their life. But it was hard for them. It was hard. But my dad, because, my dad, because of his job, it was okay, because my dad used to work in Pepsi. He, 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 he worked there for 37 years. He retired from there as well. So because of the job, everything was okay. He had a good name. Now I'm continuing that. And my, my, my dad got his passport. My dad has been here 40 years and he's got his passport when he was 55. So he spent 40 years and then they didn't give him nothing. And when he was 55, they gave him the passport. What am I going to do with this now? The number of migrants coming here was uh, small, much smaller. And because the country was in uh, a happiness of progress and development and what have you, the bubble as we tell it nowadays. Now, migrants were extremely useful for Greece to enter the Eurozone, thank you, to organize Olympic Games, twice, thank you. So these people came here for a good reason. When the reason is not existing anymore, because A, Olympic Games is over and the game is, the party is over, as you say, now they should be ready to go, free to go, but they're not. In the decade of the uh, 90s, we had uh, a, a number of uh, uh, 600,000 uh, or more of migrants without any legal permit without any documents working here, staying and working here. And uh, in 1998, uh, we had the first uh, uh, regularization process. And in uh, 2001, we had the second, 2005, we had the third one. And after that, we had no, uh, there has been no process of legalization, no law uh, for regularization. That means that uh, uh, we arrived uh, to have uh, hundreds uh, of thousands of people uh, here uh, being uh, illegal. So, the Greek state decided that you know, they will not examine seriously uh, any demands for asylum, 
or any way of making them legal. And people were just piled. Now, what is the policy? Trail around, stay without rights of to work or stay somewhere until someone takes you around, puts you in a prison, stay for some months, come out again and again and again until we decide. This is the point. Everybody suffering for for every every week. We have to be here, and we have, we, have, we have to wait for the how long when they will renew us. I am Madam Karsho Khamu Tamdid Kunam. Karsho Khamu Tamdidan Tamdid Pain Rus Pain Rus Barash Bakh Mizan Bait Berim Pain Rus Pain Rus Bay Minja Ar Sob Saat Shish Minja Ar Pain Rus Pain Rus Bar Saat Shish Minja Ar Karsho Khamus Kunam Maani Na Dareke. Kari Na Bud Kusum Kunam Zawan Am Balad Na Bud. تا وقتی کارم تموم شد یکم پول درست کردم اومدم این طرف این طرف هم که اومدم فکر کنم از این طرف میتونم برم رفتم پاترا از پاترا رفتم طرف ایتالیا کامیون گرفتندمون برگردوندنمون از یک شش ماه زندانی در پاترا بودم I stay in the prison 120 days I see a lot of bad things from the policemen from the doctors from the all things but sleep but food without salt little little food uh, go outside three ten minutes in one day ten minutes morning okay so, yeah, yeah, I like the idea I did I'm wrong I did uh, you probably know that the European uh, Court of Human Rights has many times convicted the Greek state for mistreating uh, refugees or uh, migrants. The last months, as a result of the uh, operations of Greek police named Xenios uh, Zeus, there are hundreds of people detained in uh, police stations in horrible uh, conditions for months. Uh, prior to the to last year's uh, national elections in the summer, uh, Prime Minister Samaras campaigned on uh, taking back, occupying back the cities from the immigrants if he was elected. It was the same for many other parties. Many people uh, campaigned on uh, immigration. Uh, as soon as he was elected, after a couple of months, the government uh, launched Operation Xenosus. First of all, the insult is that they call it Xenios Zeus. You know, Xenios means the god of hospitality. Like, Xenia, X-E-N-I-A, is the name of the, 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 the hotels operated in all Greece because of Philoxenia is hospitality. Now, this stupid minister is using the Zeus protector of migrants as the ruthless ruler who is taking them abductions and torture. This operation consists of uh, police patrols being deployed in the streets of Athens stopping people who they presume are undocumented migrants, asking them for the papers, and then many times uh, bringing them, detaining them to the uh, police station for further uh, verification of their uh, documents, to verify their legal status. When you see with the paper, it arrête toujours. Il te prend, il t'emmène encore ici. Il te fait passer le temps. Et quand il te fait passer le temps, tu arrives ici là, au retour, tu vas frauder. Quand tu vas frauder, on t'arrête encore. La journée, on peut même te prendre deux ou trois fois. During those operations, there are uh, people are frequently subjected to body pat downs, searches of personal belongings, but also to verbal and physical abuse. Amnesty International expressed its concern that uh, that discriminates on people based on the racial profile. Because anybody that looks different or has a different color will be stopped and asked for their papers. 
the operation is ongoing and uh, in the first seven months of Operation Xenosaurus, the police rounded up in Athens 85,000 foreigners and brought them to the police station to verify their papers. Out of them, less than 6% were found uh, to be legal, to be regular. This is a discretionary practice. So in, in, in the, the, the picture of the common citizen, these discretionary practices seem normal. So it's one step for me to neutralize my own uh, maltreatment of any foreigner, at least with these features, because the, the groups uh, mainly targeted are black and Asian. If, if the Prime Minister is talking about, uh, in the way he speaks about undocumented migrants, then you give, uh, you know, you set up a momentum. We all believe that these people are invaders, intruders and violators. This man, what is his problem? Uh, yes, maybe he look like criminal, okay? Uh, and uh, here in this country, anyone black, uh, he afraid. If anyone black here, in, uh, all people speak uh, drugs uh, dealer, okay? But maybe he have a problem, he have a children. Maybe he come here to, to anything. To the dirty, I'm sorry in the bad word, to the dirty dream, Europe and the democracy and the freedom. He live one person here, no working, nothing, nothing, paper, he don't have paper, he don't have work, he don't have nothing. You don't want this person, he make problem here. You don't want this person, he go, how he eat? How he eat? If he don't bring it for him, Food, if we don't bring for him work, how he eat, how he live. He make problem because of food. People are doing jobs that people are, people are doing like illegal things so they can survive. Like with the girls now. So a lot of girls have, have become prostitutes now because they don't have, they don't have a job. And you know the rates are very cheap as well. Like 10 euro, 15 euro. What? 15 euro just, just, to, just to get it. For sex in it, what else? Which means you're not gonna have any greed. What are you gonna do? You're gonna do something. The, the system makes you a criminal. So hundreds of thousands of people were hovering around the country doing anything they could, not always legal. Crimes too, because of hunger or because of deviance, you know. So if you don't deal with people for 10 years, what do you expect? People will get angry, migrants get frustrated, they all crumble here, there is no provision for anything, and uh, you know, Tension builds up, and uh, if you don't solve it, it erupts. Et parfois, il y a nos amis, tu peux, tu peux marcher à seul, on te tape. Ok, ça, ça peut, c'est pas bien. Nous aussi, on arrive plus à marcher, on fait que rester dans nos coins. Donc, pour marcher, il faudrait que vous puissiez être même à deux ou trois. Parce que si tu es à seul, on peut t'agresser. Le seul épicé, tu as au یک آقا پشتم خورد دنده نم شکست پولیس هم کاری برام نکرد پولیس هم کاری برام نکرد نه خونه دارم نه The report for 2012 showed that there were 157 instances of racial violence, with the vast majority being on migrants, 
uh, three were on, uh, EU citizens, uh, Bulgarian, Romanian and a Greek. The biggest trends are um, organized attacks that have happened even at homes of uh, migrants and asylum seekers. At the same time, the, the, the fact that unexpectedly, in a way, a clearly neo-Nazist uh, group, very marginal, till uh, two, three years ago, is now represented the parliament and on the rise, according to the Gallops, <coughs> having a seemingly the position of the third party. Golden Dawn is people who have a solution. We'll do them soap, we'll sink in boats, we'll stab them. We'll... That's easy things to, to comprehend. <laughs> if you see what I mean. Well, that's where we are. Because if, if you listen nowadays even to Golden Dawn saying, we'll get, we're going to get rid of them. Nobody asks them how. Eh, what does that mean? Tell me. How can you explain that? I can explain it. There's an explanation for that. They show who they vote for. <laughs> what else? I don't, you don't see people in Holland having their flags outside their houses. Only when there's holidays. Yeah. National yeah. Holidays. Well, they're here. They, they are more patriotic than you. See? <laughs> they love the country, you know. They love the country who's corrupt, who's drinking their blood every day. They like this country. What can I say? They like this place, this place for, that, for that. So they're mainly golden love numbers. Ko <laughs> 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 Jemi turi të litajt, nuk ga s'mon njerineve. E, atë do. Bravo. Po ti nxizone e dali Jo, jo. A përdorim dy nga imigrantë nga Afrika për shembull. Tashti e kanë daluar këtu, më kanë daluar, nuk ka të. Tashti e zhven se ligji. E, më prepara ben. Sa pikish. Ja, nuk është konti aty, a çele zona e aty. Çele zona. Ja, çele zona. E cilë të imigrantë ka ma shumë probleme këtu në kitë lagjën? Zinë, të zinë. Kini parë ju vetë me sy këtu në ndërë një konflikt? Gjakë, vetë në gjakë. Gjakë. Kemi parë për nuk plashim. Në, e tamë. Jo, e kemi parë nuk në kanë marë policia. Kemi kanë marë policia për të plasim. Nime, vërtet. Jemi zenë me këta, e kemi temë se i ka smoni. Se gjuna, e, kanë në rrëtë, në kanë marë njërë. Një. Shtë gjendja, me të mbojtë një shumë. Mirë. Mirë, e? Nuk i ka sa? Krasim me këto mirë është. Ku do një loja është të përgjere? Një loja është racizmi është në shto vend, po lerë, po kej uaj racizmi është në shto vend. Racizmi është në shto vend. fascist in the every in the every square uh, here is Pladia de Kish uh, it's here the Khrushchevji uh, it's uh, different what do you think about the situation? oh no, no never mind no, it's, it's, no political. <laughs> no. But do you think it's good that they came here with the motorcycles? Uh, never mind. Never. 
Și nu am ieri, și nu am nitor mie motor aici, al lui, la zi. Cum și-o stau? Să mă lovește în anul ăsta, Crisia Arghie, eu. Aghimi Arț. Aghimi Arț, și eu. Și de mine șef. Ta ne-am bicicleta? Păi, ta ne-am motor, ta ne-am motor. Nu, că eu n-am arcăist? A ta e, a ta e. Nu rog natura, dar nu... Dragoi, ce nu e, nu e mi de acord cu tine, cu tine. Nu e și noi prileșe mei nerzi tu, nu e prile. Dar nu că de ce apăt mă tutie, po' cu tutie, pac, însă că nu. Eu vreme ce cam tot cam e pakistanesă de metuoi. A ta nu prilesi, metuoi nu-i doa. E cu tine. Po, ma ta chiar me leu nu can goit flasă, vreau te gata în sede grecă. E să kjo është bërë probleme, shumë probleme më bërë para, se ka pas është një zonë në cilë e banuat përgjësysh nga të guajt, nga pakistanesë, dhe në përgjësi, përgjësi e kanë me me të zinë, me pakistanesë, me bangladeshë, nga bangladeshë, vete me këta e kanë. Me një shqiptarë nuk para nga të smuar, nga që kemi dhe shumë vite, jemi... jemi integruar një jetën, një jetën shëqërore greke, pa ka shumë. Ka pas shumë për plase, ka pas, ka pas, vidin që e kaloj kur ishin dhe zjedjet këtu, ka pas shumë për plase, kur policia nuk të ndërrynte, ose bëndë sigur nuk të ndërrynte. To, kam parë, kam parë, kam parë dy tre është. Kam parë dy tre raste cilin kalonin të huajt këtu dhe vini dhe i godisni, i godisni dhe i gjithë. Njërëzit nuk kanë intervenit? Në njërëzit nuk mund bëtë që ndojnë, po unë së mund ndërry. Kur jam e dy fëmi dhe gjelë tu, jam edhe pa të drejta Kam të drejta më dhe vetë më punoj Edhe nuk më ndërry Nuk më ndërry se To janë kushtet tu Po të isha në vëndin tim, po të isha në Shqipëri, pa ka shumë të të ngrije zërin Tu nuk e ngrije zërin për gjera tjera Jo me... Tell them uh, where Philoxenia is gone from the Greek culture. Still, it's all here. But for you, for the right people, the other is defense, is moral panic. In fact, we are talking Philoxenia, if, for example, uh, the beasts of the zoo are set free, what you are talking about? Not Philoxenia, but love for animals, say. Eh? I mean, Say in that country, say in Netherlands, you love animals. Eh? Uh, have uh, frameworks, you know, rights of the animals. But uh, if uh, from the zoo or the lions, the tigers are coming on from a circus, it will be panic. And you ask to take them out of the streets. If you look in this way, in these groups, that would be the answer. It has nothing to do with the philosophy. Any decision about migration, besides the pragmatic limitation imposed on us, we also need to take in consideration the human obligation to, to treat the coming other, the person in need, kindly in a hospitable uh, manner. This doesn't necessarily mean to keep a country's borders uh, widely open to anyone coming uh, beyond any control. It means at, at least to treat foreigners as human beings and not as rats. <laughs>
you told me to come here better make your life i came here and finally i got the skata you know the skata meaning shit <laughs> this is the greek language skata and all the moment i'm suffering because of because i'm not satisfied because i'm absolutely not satisfied with my life actually it was my fault that is i live in asia i try to be here this is my fault or what i did actually what i did actually with me i'm the owner of my luck i'm the owner of my luck but maybe i kick my luck maybe but ye bachche punja sale interi pinde mama bhi alam bam dars hum khona hum dars khona hum be jay banesa me hum se badbakht zindagi kala uh are sudan azi here go here nothing yeah let's go where like to go germany school home and ah i'm doctor دکتر دنتیست نه دنتیست ما هم I'm like a school I'm like a school like a school ما دسر خیلی دوست دارم Stop, stop.